your fans and Jack's fans will want to know. Uh, you're 100% sure he's going to get through this with flying colors. Oh my goodness me. With the support and love that he has had from people who he doesn't even know, it's been unbelievable. How could he not? And his attitude is incredible. I mean, he, when he was on the show, it was so just uh, uh, energizing to watch him, how, how clear-eyed he is, how focused he is, how he wants people to know more about MS and to learn about it, how he's learning about it. He's going to be an inspiration to other people with the disease, and he's uh, and every Osborne is a fighter. If you don't know that about the Osborne family, you haven't paying attention. Alec Baldwin and the paparazzi, what do you think? Oh, with the sheet? Well, once in a while you just really want them to go away, and he probably was in his own little world, and he couldn't see them, he felt like they couldn't see him. I appreciate I threw a bucket of sand and a bucket of water on the paparazzi the first week that I was here, and I felt so good. Well, you know, the paparazzi can be your best friends, and they can be the most difficult. In today's show versus Good Morning America, and I'm I'm not swearing my allegiance to either. Well, I'm a then, conscientious objector. But since you are presenting to the morning shows, well, I gotta somebody, ask you this: somebody's gonna win, that's for sure. There I, you go. I don't know who. There's, there's a battle to the death going on. Oh, right absolutely, now. and plus there's a, a little bit of a, um, you know. Uh, an opinion out there that Anne perhaps, even though she's very good at what she does, yeah. that Anne perhaps is being the fall girl, if you will, for the ratings. That may be what's happening. And I, I would hate, because she is so strong in, in delivering the news, I'd hate to see her tumble because of this war that's going on between the two shows. Do you remember Not For Women Only, your show? Yes, Not, I do. Not For Women Only, and I was her intern. Really? Yes. With Madeline Amgott. Yeah, she was a producer. Yes. Yeah. You obviously made no impression. Ah! <laughs> Great to see you. I remember you. I know you do. You're, you're a jokester. How many of, of these do you have? Um, this is my seventh. Your seventh. So it, it begs the question, does it ever get old? Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell no. And where's your Emmy, for crying out loud? My, 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 uh, my ladies it. have it over here. Go Wait. get it! They stole it. I don't know where it is. Where is the flipping Emmy? If anybody sees an Emmy, please uh, tackle them. Bobby Flay has lost his Emmy. When they called your name, what went through your head? I can't believe it. I'm so honored. I'm in a room full of the best in television. Yeah. Oh, it was just, it was great. Pretty stiff competition there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very. And I respect every program that was nominated and some that weren't. Yeah. They all do a good job. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm very happy to say I have a new show coming out on Discovery in the fall. Yeah, what uh, is it? It's called Deadly Affairs. It's about real life. Uh, love relationships gone really, really wrong. And uh, it has just been announced that Mark Cherry's pilot, which I did, called Devious Maids, has been picked up by Lifetime. That's fantastic. Yeah, so I'll be there. So you've got a lot going on. I've got two new shows coming out. Thank you for watching Extra on YouTube. And for 24-7 updates on celebrity news, subscribe to our channel here, like us on Facebook here, or follow us on Twitter here. And if you <laughs> want your voice heard, leave a comment below. Where? Right there. <laughs>